Thanks, everyone, for coming back to another segment of the MCR. Mac and me, my name is TJ. In this segment, we kind of want to quick put out a Friday edition, uh, given our thoughts and my suspicions of uh, Mark Zuckerberg's intent regarding this letter that he sent to Jim Jordan. And in regards to sending out this letter, he also CC'd Jerry Nadler. I don't, uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe he wanted Nadler to know what he was telling Jim Jordan. Who knows? You know what hmm. I mean? That's interesting. But yeah, at at the very end, because I did print out this, uh, it's, it's on uh, Meta Company Letterhead, and it's about a, one and a quarter pages. Uh, you know, he ends it respectfully, Mark Zuckerberg, founder, chairman, and CEO, Meta Platforms, Inc., and then a little space below that, CC colon, the Honorable Jerry Nadler, ranking ah, member. Just yeah. looking at that ranking member is, well, you I know, find, uh, an insult. Zuck- Zuckerberg's a billionaire. Whatever. He's probably supplied uh, Jerry Nadler with a lifetime supply of adult diapers. I printed out the letter. Uh, I w- I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I was going to hit some ho- what I thought were highlights of it. Uh, you know, he it looks like he sent this out a few days ago, the... 26th of August, okay, and uh, very quickly, it's it's full of admissions, okay, yeah, we did this, yeah, we did that, uh, and, and I thought, okay, well, you know, to me personally, no news there, and this is the, and this is the reason why we wanted to do the segment uh, here at the MCR, I always look for the why, why did he do this, and I have a suspicion I listened to Dan Bongino, and he said almost word for word what uh, what my suspicion was that I shared with uh, one of our subscribers. But uh, you know, just just very quickly from the letter, a uh, couple paragraphs into it, he references in 2021, senior officials from the Biden administration, including the White House, repeatedly pressured our teams for months to censor certain COVID-19 content, including humor and satire. Uh, he mentions uh, their frustration, but I don't, I do, do I think they were frustrated? No, he's just saying they were, okay? Uh, right. In a couple sentences, he would continue, I believe the government pressure was wrong. Uh, yeah, you think? And uh, I, I regret that we were not more outspoken about it. Again, I doubt his sincerity and his regret. I doubt it as well. Moi, you know? uh, I also think we made some choices that with the benefit of hindsight and new information, we wouldn't make today. Yeah, I, 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 bet, you, I bet you mean that. Uh, let's see, uh, then the next paragraph, he references a separate situation, how the FBI warned us about the potential Russian disinformation operation about the Biden family and Burisma in the lead up to the 2020 election. So now, now he's admitting to Tom Foolery for the 2020 election. Uh, he mentions how they sent that story to fact checkers and, and uh, at the time they deemed it Russian misinformation. Uh, they demote, he says, we demoted the story. We shouldn't have demoted the story We've changed our policies and process to make sure this doesn't happen again. You know what? I guess we'll find out, huh? I don't believe uh, a word of it. I, you know what? And neither do I go into my suspicion, which we'll share here in a bit. Then uh, the final paragraph. Uh, he he writes, I want to address I, <laughs> I want to address the contributions I made during the last presidential cycle to support electoral infrastructure. So he's you know, he, he's admitting to throwing into the kitty, okay? Uh, but then he says they were designed to be nonpartisan. I doubt that. Uh, the second sentence from the end, or yeah, second sentence from the end, he says, I know that some people believe this work benefited one party over the other. Yeah, you bet, you bet it did. My goal is to be neutral and not play a role one way or the other. Yeah, uh-huh, okay. Yeah. Or even appear to be playing a role. So I don't plan on making a similar contribution this cycle, this cycle, this 2024 cycle, respectfully. Right. And you know what? I'll even, I'll even question his respectfully. 
you know, res- well, you respectfully could, about every submitted. third post I make about Kamala Harris comes back with a, this is false information or partly false information. Well, why don't they say it's mostly true? But, you know, that's, that's how it works with weather. So, uh, you know what? This guy is doing a big case of CYA, which takes us back to your original question. Why is he doing it? Yes, is he going to get I caught with his hand in the cookie jar violating election law? That's that's one of the things that make I wonder about. Well, as I heard uh, my favorite commentator on the radio say, of course, I said it to my uh, my uh, uh, I'll call my f- fellow subscriber that I talk to a lot. Uh, <clears throat> as soon as I heard about this, my comment was, I think he sees the writing on the wall. You know, then the writing on the wall is whether Trump wins or loses, the gig is up. Uh, well, everyone to think about that. Uh, if Trump loses, they're just going to run cover for him some more. Well, most likely. But uh, I, I suspect uh, Zuckerberg thinks uh, Trump has a legitimate chance of winning here. And he's uh, he's hedging his bets. He's uh, you know, he. He certainly has no change of heart. I, I I just don't believe there's a change of heart here. I don't think he's had a come to Jesus moment or anything. You mm-hmm. know, I also have to suspect and 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 I'm less certain of this. Using myself as an example, after the 2020 election, I got off of Facebook and I'm wondering how many people followed suit in 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 what I did, you know, uh, well, we're you know, on it, or I'm on it, I should say, because that's where I share our videos. Otherwise, I wouldn't be on it because it's mostly a bunch of drivel. Not, not at the at the risk of sounding snookered. I'm half debating whether or not I'd I'd give Facebook another chance because, yeah, I'd like to uh, have an account where where I can personally post our videos. Also, you know, but it would uh, help. yeah, it would help. But uh, you know, as as far as a as far as a change of heart, no, there's been no change of heart. I think he's hedging his bets. I think he's afraid Trump is going to win. I think he sees the writing is on the wall. I think it's it. This is this has got CYA all over it. You know. Well, I I do wonder. One of the things that popped into my mind was, is he has he been tipped off as to a whistleblower that's well, going to spill that, the beans? So he's trying to get ahead of it. Well, you know what. And that's entirely possible because a whole lot of whistleblowers have been creeping out of the woodwork there on on all sorts of things, you know. So, uh, you know, and I I I believe he's concerned Trump could win. I suppose in 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 an upcoming segment, we can talk about all the tomfoolery that's going on in Michigan right this right today. Uh, That'll that'll probably be in another segment. Uh, That's a shameless plug for saying another segment or so, but, uh, and we got all sorts of tomfoolery and chicanery and, and just out and out dirty tricks being played out right now, this, to this day. Anyways, uh, that I, I just real quick wanted to, you know, provide, you know, my thoughts, my suspicions. I don't, I don't, I don't believe any, hardly anything he wrote in that, that letter there. Uh, that, that's all I got. You, I'm, I'm, I've ranted out. You got any, got any last minute rants? <laughs> no, nope, I think that'll do it. All right. Okay. No more rants. Uh, we'll call this one a wrap. Uh, catch us in the next segment. Thanks everyone for your support. As always, be safe. Watch your six, and don't tread on me. <laughs>